faithful friends who are dear to us gather near to us once more through the years we oh the heck with it mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. you know the words finish it yourself i'm having a snack mm. happy holidays Season's greetings, one and all, and welcome once again to Tom's Hit Parade. Uh, yes, I can, I'm still wearing my festive hat here, so that means this is the second of my two holiday-themed videos for this year. Uh, as kind of follows suit, as I explained in the last video, today I present the 12 discs of Christmas. Uh, yes, just 12 CDs I picked kind of at random from my holiday music stockpile that I had yet, yet to listen to and uh, listened to them all and decided to present them to you in basically in rough order from least favorite to most favorite. And uh, so yes, as I mentioned in the last video, I'll try not to mess this up as I did with my last year's uh, videos. So in keeping with the song that inspired these videos, The Twelve Days of Christmas, I present to you The Twelve Discs of Christmas. On the first day of Christmas, the CD played by me was the Trans-Siberian Orchestra. This is their self-titled album. It's got uh, six songs on it. I assume it's it's an album. I don't know if it's just an EP and their actual full-fledged album didn't come later. But anyway, um, this is okay stuff. Uh, it is, you know, the first thing, being the first one, it's my least favorite of the bunch. Um, some of it had some vocals that, I don't know, just didn't quite suit me. Maybe it was just because I wasn't expecting vocals in Trans-Siberian Orchestra songs. I'd seen a video or a, a story about them. I think it was on CBS Sunday Morning a few years ago and seemed like an interesting group, but I never got around to sampling their stuff. But uh, yeah, not bad. Kind of like the, uh, oh, what is it? Uh, Mannheim Steamroller in that they present ki kind of rocked out versions of holiday songs, although Trans-Siberian, or... Uh, uh, the one I just talked about, Mannheim Steamroller, is more synth and orchestral-based, whereas the Trans-Siberian Orchestra has more rock-oriented instrumentation. Still not a bad uh, deal here. Uh, a Mad Russian's Christmas, this uh, that's their title for uh, a thing riffed off of um, the Nutcracker Suite, uh, composed by Tchaik Tchaikovsky. And then we have um, oh, A Last Illusion. I can't remember what that one is. Oh, Christmas Canon Rock. That's, of course, based off of Pachelbel's Canon. So... Some clever arrangements. Uh, I'll have to give this one. I'm not getting rid of this one. I'm going to keep it and listen to it at some point later on to see if it, if I warm up to it any, you know, Christmas, staying warm. A little pathetic little joke there. Anyway, <clears throat> on the second day of Christmas, the CD played by me was The Three Tenors Christmas. Uh, you, you kind of know the story with these guys. They were became famous. Um, Pavarotti... Uh, Placido, Placido Domingo and jo Jose Carreras, uh, as well as Lucia, Luciano Pavarotti, the three tenors. Uh, they created a big splash. They they went viral before the internet was a thing. They they had this uh, TV special, uh, concert special, and uh, it kind of became a worldwide sensation. And uh, one of their one of their first few releases was this holiday album. Very good stuff. I mean, these guys, of course, you know they can sing their you know what's off. And uh, there's just fantastic stuff. Um, some of the stuff is uh, solo stuff, some of it's duet, and some of it is all three of them together. So that kind of creates very nice variation in the sound. But uh, yeah, pretty much all the holiday standards you would expect to find are here. Uh, many of them sung in different languages, Italian, Spanish, and English, of course. So yeah, if you like the classical uh, holiday music with a classical bent, I would recommend this if you have not listened to it yet. Very, very good. <clears throat> On the third day of Christmas, the CD played by me was Babyface. Uh, Christmas with Babyface. Uh, you know, I've just recently discovered him uh, this past year with a bargain bag CD. It was one of my favorites of the year. And I picked up one or two other ones. And uh, I actually, I think I found this one uh, after I uh, discovered that great Babyface CD that I listened to. Uh, so that's why I included it here. I picked it up. 
I think I picked this one up at Epic Seconds for a dollar. Uh, good stuff. Um, contemporary R&B is the least favorite uh, arrangements of holiday songs that I like. I just, I just, some of it's just awful. I'm not, I'm sorry, you know, the singing is good, but just some of the arrangements are just terrible. I just, not very Christmassy to me. I don't know why. But uh, this one is not bad. Uh, there are a couple of those songs that kind of veer into contemporary R&B. Uh, the, the, the not so savory arrangements are not so palatable ones. But overall, this is a pretty good album. It is uh, produced by Babyface and Walter Afanasiev, and he is a very good, uh, a very well-known, very renowned producer. So uh, he isn't going to turn it. He isn't, isn't going to turn out garbage. So yeah, very good stuff. Uh, it came upon a midnight clear, and the first Noel are performed as a as a uh, medley on here. And we've got Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Winter Wonderland, the Christmas Song, White Christmas, Little Drummer Boy, uh, all of the. Uh, Basic stuff. I think uh, You Were There is the closing track, and I think that's an original. But otherwise, everything else is uh, uh, well-known holiday songs. So, not bad at all, gotta say. So, moving right along, on the fourth day of Christmas, the CD played by me was the soundtrack to The Polar Express. Now, I will admit I have never seen this movie, but it is available on one of the streaming services we subscribe to, so I am definitely going to have to check it out and watch it. I've heard that it's very well done. It's kind of visually, uh, if not visually dazzling, it's at least visually interesting. And of course, I've always liked Tom Hanks, so there's no reason for me not to watch this movie, And uh, including the soundtrack. It's got some original music by um, Alan Silvestri, who, whom I love from the Back to the Future trilogy, and other stuff. Oh, the, the Night at the Museum uh, scores. He did, did a great job on those. Uh, so yeah, and it's got also got some... Uh, uh, sound clips from the movie itself, as well as some uh, holiday songs, some classic holiday songs. We've got uh, Winter Wonderland by the Andrews Sisters. I love that close harmony stuff from the uh, the 40s and 50s. Uh, White Christmas by Bing Crosby. You've got the Santa Claus is Coming to Town by Frank Sinatra. And then, uh, oh, Rockin' on Top of the World by Steven Tyler. That's an, an interesting, just kind of juxtaposed to all the other ones. It's kind of interest, interesting uh, one to throw in there. And uh, Silver Bells by Kate Smith. And uh, so, yeah, a decent... Uh, oh, sorry if I'm getting a little bit of... Uh, the light's not very good, is it? Sorry, let me... There we go. I should have closed the blinds. I'm sorry I didn't close the blinds, but uh, it's too late to get up now and do that. Uh, so, yeah, Polar Express, uh, very good stuff. It was uh, on the fourth day of Christmas. So, pretty good. Then we have, on the fifth day of Christmas, the CD played by me was a compilation, Celebrate Christmas. This is done. This one was done to benefit the Children's Miracle Network and the City of Hope. So it was a CD that was originally a charitable, uh, something done for, done for charity. But uh, I picked it up, used, actually, I think this was in the uh, assortment of holiday CDs that my mother's friend Sue gave to me. So, yes, she's also the one that gave me the... Uh, uh, the cassettes, the assortment of cassettes that, uh, which I also took the tapes, many of the tapes that I did the other day from was from Sue. So a lot of these videos are thanks to Sue. Thank you, Sue. Anyway, this is a very good um, assemblage of songs. We got Kenny Loggins, Bill Medley of the Righteous Brothers, Donna Summer, Dion Warwick, America, Neil Sadaka, Bobby, Bobby Vinton, Tony Orlando, Barry Manilow, Lou Rawls. So yes, a very nice. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, a nice collection of classic pop uh, renditions of Christmas songs. So very enjoyable. I really enjoyed this one. Oh, and the closing track is Away in a Manger by Henry Mancini. So I've always been a Henry Mancini fan. Anyway, oh, speaking of Barry Manilow, on the sixth day of Christmas, the CD played by me was Because It's Christmas by Barry Manilow. Uh, good stuff. I mean, it's kind of what you would expect from a Barry Manilow Christmas album. Not much to see. Not that it's not good. It's just kind of, you know, what you would expect. We've got The Christmas Song and uh, Jingle Bells, which is a duet with uh, 90s girl pop group Expose, an R&B group, which which I also discovered through... Did I... No, I didn't discover them through Bargain Break. It was on a... It was a budget CD purchase, though. Uh, earlier this year, I found budget uh, Expose's Greatest Hits. Was really uh, impressed by it. 
And then another one, uh, Baby It's Cold Outside, is a duet with K.T. Oslin, the country singer. And she is one I discovered through a bargain bag find. So it's kind of like all things lead back to bargain bag, don't they? Anyway, uh, we also got The First Noel and When the Meadow Was Bloomin'. I'm not familiar with that second one. The, uh, that's a, a uh, medley of those two songs. And another medley is Silent Night with I Guess There Ain't No Santa Claus. And that's another one I have not, I'm not familiar with. But uh, yeah, we've got uh, actually a few more medleys on here. Joy to the World and Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas is so those two are mashed together. And Carol of the Bells and the Bells of Christmas kind of go together with their titles. And the closer is We Wish You a Merry Christmas with It's Just Another New, it's just another New Year's Eve. So a kind of uh, uh, most holiday CDs end with uh, Old Lang Syne. So this is a nice uh, twist on that, a, a variation on a New Year's song that you don't hear very often. So, And, of course, we have not, uh, White Christmas is on here as well. So a uh, pretty enjoyable CD, I have to say. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to take a... Since we're halfway through, I'll take a drink of water. And I'm glad to see that the light is getting a little bit better here. Sorry about that. I should have closed the blinds before I started, but uh, didn't think it would make that much of a difference. Anyway... On the seventh day of Christmas, the CD played by me was The Canadian Tenors with their album The Perfect Gift. And I cannot remember where I found this one. I think this one was um, in uh, Sue's collection. And I might as, I, I'm, I'm going to stop trying to guess which where each of these was from, because it's uh, unless I know absolutely and absolutely certain. But yes, we've got... Um, a duet with Sarah McLaughlin, or a feature with Sarah McLaughlin, Winter Song, that's on here. And then we've got Oh Holy Night, uh, Silent Night, uh, Huron Carol, which I guess is a Canadian Christmas carol. I'm not familiar with it. And we've got What Child Is This with Carol of the Bells, uh, The Perfect Gift, which I, I assume is an original. It's the title track. Ave Maria and Instrument of Peace, God Rest You Merry Gentlemen. I don't think I mentioned that one already. Uh, and then the closing uh, track, or a bonus track on the CD, is Hallelujah, the Leonard Cohen song. So, yes, a, a very good uh, collection of songs on here. And the, the Canadian tenors, who later went by the name of the tenors, uh, don't know why they dropped the Canadian from their name, but anyway, uh, very talented singers, and uh, so, yeah, good stuff. And now, on the eighth day of Christmas, the CD played by me was... Joy to the World by the Boston Pops Orchestra with John Williams at the baton. My man, John Williams. Uh, yes, uh, the Boston Pops put out two or possibly even three holiday albums while John Williams was the conductor. I think this is the second one that I have. Uh, but yes, wonderful stuff. I mean, it's, it's you know, your hmm, typical orchestra fare, but I mean, honestly, with John Williams at the baton and since it's the Boston Pops Orchestra, one of the best orchestras in the country, uh, you can only expect good results. But we have a, a feature on here. Uh, Robin Williams narrates the uh, Twas the Night Before Christmas. So that's kind of a cool thing. Uh, Robin Williams has popped up a couple of times recently on random CDs that I have. So uh, it's kind of nice that he's, his memory stays alive. You know, Just, that was such a terrible loss that we suffered uh, a couple of years ago. But yes, uh, several medleys on here of like five or six or seven songs. So kind of like a ni nice long pieces, like nine minute pieces with just a bunch of different songs in it. And we've got uh, some a couple things, a couple selections from the soundtrack to Home, Al Home Alone, the Christmas, the holiday movie that uh, John Williams actually did the score for. So honestly, if it's John Williams at the baton, some stuff from Home Alone is going to creep into the track listing, obviously. Uh, so, but yeah, very good stuff. Um, some stuff from the... Uh, Babes in Toyland, and probably also from uh, Nutcracker Suite as well. So yes, uh, a, another nice classical holiday CD. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a bit of a scratchy throat I've developed over the last few days. I hope it doesn't mean anything uh, terrible. Anyway, uh, on the ninth day of Christmas... <laughs> got these little notes here that remind me that, uh, that I, so I don't mess up this video. On the ninth day of Christmas, the CD played by me was... Susan Boyle with The Gift. Uh, some people like Susan Boyle. Some people are just not into that kind of music. Uh, I only happened upon this CD because I think actually this one was in my mother's 
a CD collection. She's She just doesn't listen to music anymore like she did, used to, and she gave me the box of CDs that she had. Uh, I did a video of it uh, when it happened. She's saying, you know, save the ones you want to save, the ones you don't care about, do what you want to do with them. So, But I saved a good portion of them, and this was one of them. Obviously, uh, we know her voice from uh, the viral video of her on uh, America's Got, or no, Britain's Got Talent. She just blew the crowd away. She blew Simon Cowell away, which doesn't happen very often. Uh, it's just, I love watching the video just to see Simon's reaction. Uh, but anyway, yes. Uh, oh, come all ye faithful. Uh, the first Noel, Oh, Holy Night. That seems to be a popular one. Away in a Manger. And again, we have Hallelujah, the Leonard Cohen song. Uh, another an, more interesting choice on here is uh, Don't Dream It's it, Don't Dream It's Over, which is the crowded house, yeah, crowded house song. So kind of I, I wouldn't have expected that to be a holiday song, but uh, it seems to work on the album. And of course, with Susan Boyle's voice, she she does everything she sings. She does justice to you. So very enjoyable, much more enjoyable than I thought it was going to be. pelted in the face by the ball here. Anyway, <clears throat> on the 10th day of Christmas, the CD played by me was When My Heart Finds Christmas by Harry Connick Jr. Now I have this, this is the, or no, I think maybe that's uh, Kenny G that I'm confusing with. But yeah, um, Harry Connick Jr. has put out two or three, possibly even more holiday albums, and this is at least the second one that I have. Uh, but yeah, I mean, as, as you would expect with Harry Connick Jr., he puts a bit of a New Orleans swing um, touch on a lot of these songs. Uh, and, of course, his voice is outstanding. You've got Sleigh Ride, When My Heart Finds Christmas. Uh, it must have been Old Santa Claus. That's a real cool... Uh, it's got a real Dixieland uh, bounce to it. I just I, I love that one. And then uh, Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Let It Snow. The Little Drummer Boy, Ave Maria. Parade of the Wooden Soldiers, which actually I think that one was on the uh, John Williams. Yeah, that was on the John Williams one I showed you just a minute ago. And then Oh Holy Night, uh, again, I don't know if I don't know if there's a single CD in this collection that doesn't have Oh Holy Night on it. Uh, but yeah, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, What Are You Doing New Year's Eve? So another one that uh, he decided not to just throw on Auld Lang Syne as an afterthought. So yeah, a very enjoyable album as I, I've come to appreciate Harry Connick Jr. more and more. You might recall back uh, a couple of years ago, he's an artist who was initially very hit and miss with me. I really enjoyed some of his albums and other albums I just did not get anything from. But I am I have been warming up to him more and more. So, good stuff. And now on the 11th day of Christmas, here we are getting, this is this, my second favorite of this bunch. On the 11th day of Christmas, the CD played by me was Aaron Neville. And it is called Christmas Prayer. And this this does lean a little bit toward the um, spiritual rather than se the secular, but it's Aaron Neville's voice, so I don't have a problem with that. Uh, you've got uh, <clears throat> Go Tell It on the Mountain, which is a much more of a spiritual song, Mary's Boy Child. And then he's also got some of the more secular songs, White Christmas, and uh, Christmas Every Day, that's a good one, and Oh Come All Ye Faithful, It Came Upon a Midnight Clear, and uh, Joy to the World features the Blind Boys of Alabama, so that one's got a little bit of a blues twist to it, So, and it closes with Amen, the, uh, the classic spiritual, uh, so yeah, a good album, and I normally don't go in quite so much for the more... Uh, the more religious-centered uh, holiday albums, but uh, there's an exception to almost every rule, you know? So yes, very good stuff. really enjoyed it. But the one I enjoyed the most is this one on the 12th day of Christmas. The CD played by me was Our Favorite Things. Tony Bennett, Charlotte Church, Placido Domingo, and Vanessa Williams. An amazing quartet on here, and pretty much all of them from different fields. I mean, uh, Charlotte Church and Placido Domingo are both from the opera uh, thing, but you've got an R&B singer, Vanessa Williams, and you've got a classic pop singer, Tony Bennett. So I don't know whose idea it was to throw the four of these people together, but the result was an amazing album. I loved this album, as you can tell by its placement as the grand finale of this uh Thing. And, and again, kind of like the Three Tenors thing, uh, this album is solos, duets, trios, and quartets, all mixed together. So, 
You've got Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, which Tony Bennett sings. And uh, uh, all four of them uh, close. Actually, well, yeah, they close with Silent Night, but there's an encore uh, after that. Um, I'll Be Home for Christmas features Tony Bennett and Placido Domingo. Winter Wonderland is a duet between Tony Bennett and Vanessa Williams. Uh, Do You Hear Do You Hear What I Hear is Vanessa Williams' solo. And then we've got... Uh, Oh, Somewhere in My Memory, which is, uh, here we go with uh, Home Alone, the movie that John Williams scored, and makes another appearance. And let's face it, since that movie came out, the, its songs have kind of become classics. Uh, but yes, yeah, Somewhere in My Memory is performed by some uh, group on here that I can't tell the name of. It is right here. Uh, looks like a German, a German chorale of some sort, obviously, by his name. Uh, Charlotte Church does a solo rendition of Silent Night. Uh, oh, Holy Night is a duet between Charlotte Church and Placido Domingo. So, as you can tell, I just love this album. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to become one of my, uh, as the years go on, one of my holiday staples. I'm going to pull this one out every year and listen to it. So, uh, lovely, lovely album. And a dozen very nice albums. Uh, nice to varying degrees. I don't think I'll get rid of a single one of them. So, uh, but yeah. So that will be it for the 12 Discs of Christmas. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, hit that like button and share it with your friends. And give me your thoughts, questions, suggestions, or constructive criticisms in the comments section below. Also scroll down to the description for the links to my Twitter and Instagram feeds, and links to my favorite fellow YouTubers who are all worth checking out. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and browse my past videos. And uh, be sure to rate that. <laughs> Be sure to ring that notifications bell so you'll be the first to know each time I drop a new video. It's not going to flop down in front of my face. Anyway, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Have a great and wonderful holiday. I'll see you next time. And remember, life's too short to be a music snob.